Hey y'all. Okay. So, of course I'm going to worry about people because if I've seen how they are, what are these people capable of? <laughs> Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay. So, for me to see that they haven't allowed certain, I don't really even know how you look at it, Christians in certain positions, then it's almost like other people that have a godly view of things, you know, <laughs> you know, to somehow stand up for everybody. Does that make any sense? Because I think it's a very sad state of affairs when and if you have an atheist to say, of course, I don't think it's okay to touch on a child, but then the children are getting touched on in churches. Yes, that is a very sad state of affairs. Wouldn't y'all say? So, of course, for the last few years, I was like, okay, my Christians. Then I'm looking back at anything I've shared. It's not even there anymore. Huh. Well, like trying to get white people out to lead into other whatever. I don't know, you know, da 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 Lucky for me, I went to my father's shelf and I was like, God, send me something. That's one example that he is real. Because I went straight to the bottom and I was like, man, this is pretty heavy. Like, all right, God, I'm grabbing it. And then that's what I found. You know? I'm all right. Sorry. Look, I'm going to share this. I actually thought I was a year off or like six months off on this. Now, to come back to look at this later, I think it is pretty interesting that it happens to be someone's birthday. And then two years in a row, it was, um, it happened to be Thanksgiving for each of the birthdays. The two years after that, this happened. Now, that's one, it's one of three interesting things. Okay. So, this happened on November 28, 2017. But... I had shared it the next day, November 28th, 2017. So two years later. Okay. Jesus is alive. Wow, wow, wow. Could not not share this. So commented on blank, blank, two video. Um, well, blank, blank. Okay, blank, two video last night. Well, towards an atheist, once again, calling Christians stupid, etc. Debating about the Bible when it was really written etc etc when the resurrection was added to the bible etc 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 well like i said before i'm not a bible scholar or and could not debate about timing or whatnot when the bible was written and or who wrote which person wrote what book which or which what book etc what i know i've been blessed with the holy spirit at least i feel but I told him in comment that even Christians can debate even one verse in the Bible. I choose not to, but there's some, yeah. Um, and said that although he was taken up for himself to have freedom of speech, but that he had no idea about the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, he had no right to call us to uh, or to single us out. That's actually what it said. Single us out and say we're stupid. And basically said he should humble himself and lose or have less pride and maybe ask, well, y'all know my Christian friends. And it pointed out how another person commented on end times, etc. And pretty much saying he needed to think about things. Um, well, once again, probably tell a story all crazy. Not really, huh? Okay, but Jesus is a lie part. Well, okay, now, okay, uh, Jesus is a lie part. I don't want to mention this right now. Okay, 
Well, I go to my restroom and I see a folded up sheet of paper. Now, before, I mean, like, right after I said the whatever comment I said to that person, even though it was, like, seven months later, I had, I like, prayed. I was like, please, God, don't have this person come back and be rude or mean to me. <laughs> so, I prayed that, and then that's when I found this. Okay. So, I unfold the sheet of paper. I was like, wow, what is this? So, I unfold the sheet of paper. Um, to be honest, I prefer King James, but at this time, I had New King James. But I looked at both, and they're about the same. But just to clarify that, okay? All right, Isaiah 13, 9. Behold, the day of the Lord comes cruel with both wrath and fierce anger to lay the land desolate, and he destroy its sinners from it. Amen. So, of course, right then I was like, okay, wow, God. I guess I got to warn people. All right, and then I put, I'm very thankful the verse doesn't scare me and or make me wonder or whatnot. And it's for some reason, things are different, but okay. But it uh, does want me to try it completely um, correct in my personal walk with God and live more right because unlike what non-believers think, we don't just want to see in and get away with it with the help from god he can point out our sins what it may be to work on it and be better if make any sense and then i went on to say well thank you for anyone who took the time to read this and may god bless you it was just amazing me feeling spoken to with a verse i wrote down at some point and came across it especially at that one point in time and so much that I took from it. So, now the third most interesting thing to it is that it was when they were talking about Jesus' DNA, having Jesus' blood. Now, I can't seem to find the exact video I watched. Of course, I've seen a lot of stuff after that, uh, about that, or whatever. So, I wanted to share that really quick. And I'll see y'all soon. And, um, God bless.